Hello everybody and welcome back to Vagrant Season 1 Episode 2. So we're standing here by the village, me and Kat uh, transformed. And yeah, this is the direction it comes to spawn and I think, yeah, as you can see, there's a bit of an issue here. It's like not really accessible. Like sure you can go around and stuff, but it's like not... It's not pretty. So in this episode I think we'll do a bit of pass and uh, make it look nice. And yeah, hopefully when people like wander by and they see a path or something, or like a nice entrance, that they come by and uh, say hi. Okay, so Alex just came by and uh, we decided to go make a mini game at spawn. So I think I have an idea of a fun game. Okay, so we made it to spawn, all right. Uh, this, this is spawn. And I think here the mini game will do well over here. Okay, so here we have the premise of the game. <laughs> Not much, but it's just uh, might make it higher. Uh, so I thought like we could stack up uh, two people together. Try to stack up like me and Kat did in the beginning. And like, yeah, it seemed pretty fun. And then just, yeah, try not to fall off. So let's give it a go. Okay, like it's as long as a person doesn't move, it's not too hard. But it's gonna be like sort of speed based. Like the first person to then ring a bell here would win. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> and then of course uh, some redstone Blip. that uh, breaks all the uh, sand but yeah first little mini game here fun stuff but I got distracted already just made a mini game instead of making a path so yeah let's get back to base and make a path so for paths, I was thinking for something with copper and gauge and stuff like that. It kind of looks good, but then I don't want to mix it with sense and I have to try only copper and acacia. And that is very vibrant, so I'm not sure about that. Then I thought maybe sandstone with like uh, birch, birch things, but it just looks too much like the desert. So I don't think I'll do that. And then this is probably the winner, just like deep slate slab variations. This, it would be a good contrast. I don't know. Let's let's try this out, see how it looks, and let's make like the entrance way there. Okay, so the path is looking good so far. We got it going through the the main city, coming here from like spawn direction. It's going through here the main city. Like I really like the black contrast to the to the white of the sand, and it's looking really good. So I got word from Alex who's online that there's a pillager at spawn apparently he trapped a pillager at spawn so i'm gonna head towards spawn try to capture that pillager try to pacify him and get him going for an iron farm okay so now i'm just chilling here trying to get him pacified as soon as he's pacified here i'm gonna try to get him in a boat and i'm gonna try to get him towards uh, my area where we can just name tag him and keep him for an iron farm it's gonna be great. Home sweet home. Me and my fellow pacified pillager here finally arrived home. So let me just park my ride. And he is named Rak. Rak as in he's gonna make us a good flipping iron farm. Once we're ready. But for now, I'd like to focus on this area here. I've cleared out some space. And I want to build sort of a library. Just like a big building here. A uh, nice building. A bit nicer than maybe the village things. Because, yeah, I like to have the villagers in the open, but... I don't know. Just want to build a building. So, <laughs> we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see how this one turns out. So, I'm back. And here we have it. The Library of Alexandria. Yeah, I took a reference image and uh, really like the library. So I'm not sure I can plot the design parts. Um, I like the color the, the red gives, or the acacia, the 
terracotta gifts. And yeah, here I'm not right sure, not quite sure if I want to have it uh, oxidized copper or not. So here I have non-oxidized, and here I have I'm waiting for it to oxidize, and maybe it'll fit well with the blue. But yeah, nice grassy area to get in. And here we are. Welcome to the Library of Alexandria. No one knows a lot, of course. Main reception here. We got Opak. Opak here. <laughs> And yeah, this took quite a while. So it's been a few weeks since I've been doing this a bit off and on. I wanted to do a time lapse for it, but it was just too big and I was just like working on it for like 10 minutes at a time. Trading for all the books. Oh, <laughs> took quite some time. So yeah, I think in retrospect it was a bit uh, too big of a project to do this early on. But uh, yeah, let's have a tour. Let's see what's... Oh, this block, okay. <laughs> Still need to change this block. Uh, but yeah, bunch of bookshelves, bunch of stuff. Here you have some seating area. And you know how libraries, they always like to put their names everywhere. So like the property doesn't get stolen or whatever. And uh, yeah, only cold food allowed, of course. Because yeah, warm uh, warm food would make the books smell bad. And then yeah, more seats. Here, uh, book returns or whatever. Small reception area. And if we go up, we have nothing. Yes, I blacked out a few windows, but I didn't, or haven't yet figured out what I want to put up here. And yeah, I might come back and do like, uh, change some of these for looms, because like the looms look like empty bookshelves. So I think that would be cool. And yeah, here and there we have like a ladder that goes up. And here we have a small green area. Oh, and the back entrance here, also not done yet. <laughs> yeah, so it's not, 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 done, not completely done, but uh, it's getting there. And yeah, more seating area here. And oh, somebody left a book, Moby Dick. Yes, I don't know, I didn't read Moby Dick, but I know the first line is call me Ismail. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what we did. Uh -huh. And yeah, more seating area. Huh. I placed this lectern here, but I don't remember putting a book on here. What is this? Story of our people. 1500 AD. Huh. Well, let's see, does it have a title? The history... The history of our people, okay. Huh. 1500 AB, whatever that means. We used to be happy people, part of our history. And a strong nation, but we were driven from our home. Forced to settle here, furthermore. Then be... That. Okay, an old book. Huh. At first, we were sure it was temporary, but could not return easily. At first, again, at first, hence, but never cause begun. Huh. Strange. Okay, so not all is, uh, uh, is readable, but they were forced to go away from their home temporarily, but then not. Huh. Our generations came, as generations came, went. History was forgotten. Oh no. We still another became water unmistakable. Huh. It became unmistakable water. Interesting. Kids are taught that we were always desert people. That is probably we that we were always desert people. Little they know we used to be the opposite. Huh. Used to be the opposite maybe? Are, I don't know, fresh original markings, huh? Words used be known across the land. Some lumière dans la mer. We the light of ocean. Okay, so this top one here is probably French. Because you have some. Some probably means uh, nous. Nous sommes, so we are la lumière, the light, I don't know, la lumière dans la mer, then we, then here is R probably, some is like R, we are the light of the ocean, la mer dans la, oh, oh, hold on, so it says lumière dans la mer, which translated should mean the light in the ocean, 
and here's the light of the ocean. Huh. Okay, some weird translation issues there. I mean, book not readable, not really readable, so whatever. We used to the best dealing with. Okay, I can understand, but we this. Okay, this is. Oh no, somebody was killed. Oh no. Oh no. Therefore, cold and frost, barren lands. Indeed, we were. Huh. Strange, strange, strange. Oh well. We're just leaving. I mean, that's that's what the library is for. You know, you discover stuff, history and stuff. It's it's fun. But yeah, okay. So apparently, these people weren't always desert people. Maybe they were the light of the ocean. <laughs> the light in the ocean. I don't know what that what that means. But yeah. I'm very happy with the build. Uh, let's quickly jump into uh, free cam mode here. So we can see the whole, yeah, so the roof. I'm not too happy with the roof yet. I didn't know what to do exactly. This is the back here. You can see the copper is, uh, I just I just placed that I didn't have enough to do the whole thing yet. And yeah, I'm not sure if I want to keep it blue or uh, keep it orange or blue, I don't know. Probably blue because then I don't have to get uh, Honeycomb to wax it. And yeah, so the whole reason I wanted to actually do a library is to get villagers. And I have secret cellar down here. Well, it's not secret, but like I have a cellar down here with all the villagers. Uh, I didn't like cycle their trades yet. So here you see some I've already cycled, uh, some I've already locked in, but not all of them. And these villagers together with the ones we have up here. I should be able to get all the books and then, of course, open a bookshop and uh, yeah, sell all the books. But that is for another episode, maybe next one. Let's see. So what I want to do now is actually get a few name tags. Okay, so I got a few name tags and I want to head over to the self-proclaimed Bamboo Baron. Yes, you heard right. So apparently there's a, a Alanate has proclaimed himself the Bamboo Baron. And I don't know where, I think he was south of me. I'm not sure. Okay, so it turns out he was, he is north of me, I believe. So maybe I'll see him up here. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, as you can see, I am flying. We came together uh, on uh, 26th or 27th, I think it was, and killed the dragon like as a server altogether. And it was really fun. So as you can see, I was the fool who climbed up the obsidian pillar with water, but as soon as I got up, all the crystals were already gone. So yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I helped. But here we are, this is Alan's place. Yes, unmistakable. Covered the whole thing in bamboo. Oh my goodness, I hope this renders okay. It doesn't even render okay on my screen. Oi, 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 oi. Oh la la, okay, there's <laughs> still more to go. Oh man. Yeah, definitely go check out Alan 8, uh, Alan 8's videos. It's, uh, yeah, it's really funny. And oh man, this, this is cool. This is impressive. And here we are at his place. Here is his panda, so I think I'm going to call him the real Bamboo Baron. So you know, this, uh, yeah, he wasn't named before, so I didn't throw anything. But yeah, Alan can't just claim himself the Bamboo Baron without paying homage to the actual Bamboo Barons, you know, the pandas. And yeah, now I hope I can find another panda somewhere in the jungle. <laughs> Oh my, look at this. Yes, we finally found one. We finally found... Oh man, this is so nice. Uh, can I just give him some bamboo, right? Yeah, there you go, boy. Now, um, I'm gonna have to get you in a boat. And there we see it in the distance. This place is unmistakable. <laughs> All the bamboo. Ah, oh, it's so cool. And there we go. We have the Baroness of Bamboo here. Safely at Bamboo Jungle. So, what did we do today? We learned that our people used to be sea turtles or something from this library we have here in the background. And uh, we also sort of pranked the Bamboo Baron. 
Then again, also we gave him an actual, not another panda, so he can now make panda babies. And yeah, it's kind of a safety net, you know, maybe he gets like all strong and powerful, and then we'd want to be on his good side. So yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, have a good day, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.